In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a product review, which I don't normally do, but I saw this at the store and I thought, why not? So this is a, is it worth it kind of video um, based on this product. This is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics. It's a brush set and I've never used any of their makeup tools. I've used some of their makeup before and I didn't love it, but their price range is fairly decent. So I feel like sometimes it's kind of like you get what you pay for situation, but I wanted to see if this would be worth even paying the little bit of money that I did pay for, for it. Um, it was clearly a Christmas collection and it was on sale. So I'm going to get into this and let you guys know what I think about whether it's worth the money even being 70% off or should you just go ahead and splurge on something that you know is gonna work. So like I said, this is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Brush Vault. It's a six piece brush set and right off the bat, <laughs> this packaging is a little confusing. So the words are upright here, but the brushes are upside down. And then if I turn it around, the words here are <laughs> upside down. So if I turn it here, which is kind of what I think, cause it sits like this with this little thing here, unless you're supposed to like hang it or something. I don't know really what their packaging concept was with this, but if I wanted to stand, it would have to be like this but then the print is upside down, but the back is up, up, right side up. It's really confusing, really weird. But it says that this is a brush vault, six piece makeup brush set. Set includes a powder brush, blush brush, I'm not gonna say brush after everything, angled blending, firm blending eyeshadow, um, flat sh shader eyeshadow and angled eyeliner brush. So most of these are for eyeshadow, which is pretty good because I'm kind of in the mood to do something kind of funky with my eyes. So um, I think this would actually be a really good set to see if I can do something funky with um, my eyes with this set. Now, because there's really no face brushes in here other than powder and blush I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour my foundation my contour and everything and then I will be back to start using the brushes so I have finished my base and now it's time to go in with this brush set pro fusion brush set Outside of everything being upside down and incorrect and things like that, the packaging is really cute. I think it's really cute and fun, but the downside is definitely the uh, upside print, upside down print. Really, what, what this is the only thing that seems like it's upside down. So uh, that could have very easily just been a mistake. But so this is what the brushes look like. So at this point in my makeup, I am going to be putting on my powder. And this is a powder brush. Um, the quality is not that bad. Um, obviously these are synthetic brushes. These are not real hair brushes. Um, it's pretty soft. It's, it's not that bad. Um, I think it's gonna work pretty well. Like I said, I've never used Profusion tools before. I have used their makeup products plenty of times and they're decent. They are, again, priced pretty fairly. So in some situations with the makeup, with the makeup you get exactly what you paid for. So it's all to be expected. Um, but this doesn't feel too bad. This isn't, it definitely, I thought it was gonna be a lot more stiff. So it is very soft, a whole lot more soft, a whole lot more 
a whole lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna go in with my powder, which I normally do not use powder to, or use a brush to apply my powder. So in any capacity other than like blush, obviously, um, I would have used this brush and I probably will if it is a decent enough brush use this to apply like my liquid foundation or concealers or contour and things like that but for brush or for powder I don't because I don't I don't like all that it, I feel like it's not giving me what I need but this one is intended for so that's what I'm gonna use it for very messy. I, I don't like this at all. Um, definitely. I've never used a powder brush to apply powder. This just seems very messy. So I'm not going to judge it on the fact of uh, it being a powder brush because normally this, like, look at this. That just seems excessive to me. Like, I don't like that at all. I don't like it. So as far as like the quality of it, I can't really say because I wouldn't normally use that brush for this purpose. I will be removing the powder with it. Let's see how that works and then we can get back to it. But onto the eyes now. So we can use, and I'm just gonna use these four brushes. Um, this one is a firm blending. This is an angled blending. And this one is, sorry, I wasn't showing it. This one is a firm blending, angled blending, flat shader, and angle eye brush, eyeliner brush. So this is kind of thick for eyeliner. If you're if you're asking me, so I'm probably not gonna use that. But we're gonna go in with this one first. really well so I love that for that I do feel like I had to keep dipping for this one um, quite more frequently than I would have ever with a more expensive brush so that is something that I'm noticing and you should definitely keep in mind I'm now gonna go in with Doula's which is like this shimmery gold Now I'm 
gonna go back in with that blending brush and I'm just gonna blend everything out. powder brush and get rid of all this powder which I don't feel like I'm getting rid of it I feel like I'm adding more powder off initially it felt like I was adding more powder but that's simply because I put the powder on with the brush which I normally don't do for that specific reason I don't mind taking powder off my face with a brush but I hate putting it on with a brush so I definitely love that for taking it off um, I would have to see how well it works with me applying powder with a sponge because, or get yeah, sponge because that's normally what I do use to uh, put my powder on, which is more condensed and more, you know, precise of where I want it to be. Whereas this time it was kind of like all over the place, which really is not that big of a deal. It's just not how I prefer to apply my powder. So that's that. But as far as taking it off, that brush is really well. I, 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 that brush alone in another brand would probably like Elf or NYX or, you know, more of the drugstore brands would probably cost about five to $10 probably even more than that today. But uh, I wouldn't purchase that by itself if it was in one of those brands, just because I expect for their products to be a little more high quality. But for this, if this was like two or three dollars or even at the dollar store, I would definitely stock up on them because it's not a terrible brush. It's just not what I prefer. Obviously I've used better, but it is it's a decent brush as far as, it, as i can't talk as far as the eyes the eye brushes are not that bad um i didn't use the angled brush and i didn't use the eyeliner brush but i feel like my eyeshadow came out pretty well it's blended pretty well it is very vibrant in my opinion i think they work very well but again I had to dip more than I would have ever had to with any other brand, which I prefer. It's not that big of a deal. It's really not that big of a deal. I just prefer not to be have to do that because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product. I'm dipping and tapping. Now, that is a personal choice because I could dip and then apply, but then I feel like I would get a lot of fallout and I don't want to mess up my look doing that. So... Yeah, so now it is time to try out this blush brush and for the blush brush, I, which I use this way, I'm going to use it how I use my blush brushes anyway. I'm going to apply my brush, a uh, bronzer and highlighter. I, I use all three with the same brush. So if this can uphold and do what I'm looking for, then we're good. So I'm going in with the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa palette. And I like to use the La Vida Mocha as my blush color just because it's got a very nice red to it. Now, as you can see here, it's not picking up much product. So the consistency with whether the brushes can pick up a lot of product or not is starting to show and i'm gonna say that it's not very well because this is not a very dense brush i'm gonna say that that's probably why it's not picking up a lot of product because that what was that the flat shader picked up a lot of product 
although it didn't hold it a lot and I needed to dip more and more, it did initially pick up a lot of product. So once I get the product on the brush, it's applying pretty well. I'm not disappointed in this. So after that, I like to go in with the, what is this, antidepresso. Now that picked up really well, so now, well, no, it didn't. But then I like to just sweep that under, over my contour, under my blush and over my contour and kind of blend it all together. on my day I'll either go and depending on my day I'll either go in with your grounded or deja vu today I'm going in with your grounded just because it's got a little more shimmer and that's what I'm looking for and I like to just pat that on now I'm not seeing a huge difference with that I, I mean I see it a little bit on the brush but oh bristles are falling out. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I really think of these brushes and whether they are worth the buy or not. So this is the final look and I have to say that these brushes were not that bad. Um, were they worth the money? I'm gonna have to say yes because they feel very soft. They're not as stiff as I thought they would be. I would say they could be a little more dense. That's just my opinion. I prefer my brushes to have a little more density to them, which is fullness. But outside of that, they worked very well. Um, with them being such a low quality, obviously you're gonna have some struggles and you're gonna have some uh, things that you, you know you normally wouldn't have to deal with with a more high quality product, but these were not that bad. They're not that bad. Um, the packaging was super cute. I love the colors. Um, pink is not my color, but you know, for a girly girl theme, it worked out pretty well. Um, but yeah, they're not that bad. Uh, some of the bristles are falling out. I noticed that while I was applying my blush. That seemed to really be the only brush that I noticed it with. But outside of that and the density issue, I think they're great brushes. I definitely will use them again. You'll probably see them in another video because they're not that bad of a quality product. And I only paid $5 for all of these. So basically they were like a dollar and some change each, which is not bad. Um, I definitely, if you are starting off with makeup and you just don't know what brushes to use, or if you don't know if makeup is really your thing and you just want to try it out, or if you're in a pinch and you just need something really quick, this will get the job done, obviously. This will suffice for whatever little quick situation you need for, or if you're doing kind of a trial and error situation, or say you're out and you lose all your brushes, like this will definitely take care of 
getting lots of the things done that you would need done for a quick and easy fix. So I definitely say yes. They are worth the money. They are worth the five dollars. Now um, the original price for how much these were is nowhere near this package. Like it's not on here at all. I have no idea how much they were for the sale. They were on sale. They were on clearance due to again being a Christmas product and Christmas being over. So they were on the clearance shelf. I thought why not? And it was only five dollars. So I went with it and I thought I would try them out with you guys. So let me know what you think. If you think you would, I mean, looking at my makeup, would you feel like, yeah, they're pretty worth it, or they don't seem like that bad of a of, of a deal to go and get them. I mean, Profusion has been around for a long time. I've been using, like I said, their makeup products for quite a while. Um, not consistently, but I, use, I have bought their products a few times, and I have no huge complaints about them considering that I'm not spending an uh, arm and a leg to be able to use their products. So yeah, if you guys like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that button. I appreciate it so much. I love you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.